Just when you think you saw the last of Ellen DeGeneres, she comes crawling back out of whatever dark pit she came from, and apparently she has not had enough of the backlash that she has received already. Apparently she is coming back for more, and that is exactly what she gets, because today she decided to say the dumbest thing that she has ever said in this absolutely insane post on Instagram that we're going to be checking out here today. Gay Trump supporters blast Ellen DeGeneres after anti-Trump post. So, and you know, whether you agree with it or not, that's just the reality of the situation is that you know there are a lot of people who are part of the alphabet community that do support trump you post something stupid and rather than seeing your followers flock to support it the bulk of the responses turn out negative you would think that these celebrities would start to catch on to the fact that the majority of us are sick and tired of their bs right pretty much every time one of these celebrities says one of these ridiculously insane political things, they get completely destroyed. Well, Ellen DeGeneres just messed around and found out. So the famous comedian just posted some boilerplate alphabet community agiprop Tuesday on her Instagram. It features a picture of what appears to be a boy in drag queen style makeup with words you can't tell someone you love them and then vote for someone who will hurt them written on his cheek. So this whole picture right here is extremely uncomfortable and very cringe. And it makes me feel actually kind of gross, you know what I mean? Like, seeing the type of continual propaganda that is being pushed by many of these insane lunatic leftists on the, the kids is just absolutely sickening and that should be something that we are all against and that is of course something that is continuing to wake up more people to the insanity of what happens when you get on that slippery slope because that is exactly what we are dealing with here is the slippery slope of continuing to push for more and more degeneracy so she captioned this by saying this is beyond politics it's about love and inclusion versus hate and violence this whole thing is absolutely aimed at trump but it's ridiculous and we all know this. We can take a look at what it says here and know that this is completely insane and baseless. It's meant to pull on the heartstrings of conservative leaning voters. The whole Democrat party is based on feelings and, and having warm, fuzzy feelings when you vote for Kamala, feeling the joy and not letting the bad man back in. These are all feelings, okay? It's not based on anything of substance. It's not based on anything tangible like policies or records. It is all all based on how you feel. And then, of course, she gets absolutely obliterated in the comments. She is getting completely decimated, okay? I'm not straight, and I'm voting for Trump. Do I hate myself? Absolutely not. Messages like these are what spreads hate. Exactly. And that is exactly what Democrats and leftists are always trying to do, is stir up the hate, stir up the division. As a not straight woman, I had more under Trump. He's got my vote. And this is really what it boils down to, is that simple message of, was your life better under Trump or under Biden, because under Biden, you're going to get more of the same for the next four years, because Kamala has literally said that there's no policy that she can think of that she would want to change from Biden. So you are literally going to get exactly what you've gotten from the past four years, only worse. Like, just look at these comments, man. Like, they're all just absolutely roasting the crap out of her. Like, all of them are. She is getting completely obliterated, man. Like, <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Like, I'm just scrolling, and I, all I'm seeing are just more and more pro-Trump comments. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> Of course, Trump's never done or said anything to harm gay Americans, and that's really what it boils down to. Whether you agree with the alphabet community stuff or not, the fact of the matter is, and these are just the cold hard facts, Trump has never done anything to actually go out of his way to, to try to hurt the alphabet community or something like that. So these are just more of the same baseless, nonsensical lies that we see time and time again coming from Democrats and leftists, and that's all that they can do is lie and lie and try to get you to vote based on feelings alone and not policies, not records, because they know that if you look at the policies and the records, it's not very good for them. So with all that being said, let me know what you think about this insanity coming from Ellen DeGeneres. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.